I gotta tell you, I just got off of a, a live Q&A call with our clients and I tell you what, women are having the most outrageous results. We had one client who did $15,000 in sales in her last four weeks and she's only on like module three. She's not even finished our program, which is amazing. Um, and so, it's so such is the power of clarity. Right? I believe that clarity is power. When you are clear, when you know what to do, you get into action, you get results. So I want to invite you guys, comment here below, what are you struggling with the most? And let me know if you guys can hear me and see me and all this amazing technology is working. Uh, drop an emoji here, let me know that you're joining me. And then comment below, I want to know what are you struggling with? Janet says no breakthrough calls yet. All right. So that's something that we need to work on. As you're growing your coaching business, there's so many things that you know you, you need to become an expert in. Making offers, being visible, copywriting, your mindset, uh, what systems to use, break, you know, making offers, having people convert into sales calls, getting sometimes, you know, we had a, a woman today on the call say, oh my gosh, you know, somebody gave me the, you know, the objection. They just got off the phone so quickly because they didn't have the money. Great. Well, this is what you did wrong. Here's how we fix that. Let's do a little role play. She was like, oh my God. She's like, that's it. That's the, I know this is the mistake that I made. I'm, I'm going to handle this now differently moving forward. So clarity is power. So I want to know so I can help you guys whether you're watching this live right now or you're watching later on as a replay, comment below and I'm gonna come in here and answer some of these questions for you guys. What are you struggling with the most? Sky says, hey Vanessa, being consistent, making more videos, awesome. So how can you be more consistent, right? Your marketing needs to be like a buffet. Think of your marketing like a buffet. Um, you can't just eat ice cream all day long and you can't just eat Caesar salad all day long. You know, you, you'd be boring you get bored. It's the same thing with your marketing. There's, there's some videos, there's some posts, um, there's some straight up calls to action in there, there's some great content. So it has to be like a buffet, a soup, some salad, some bread, some dessert. <clears throat> and then what's going to be Sky your, how are you going to you know keep yourself accountable to, to doing what really matters in your business on a daily basis? Um, Janet says struggling with breakthrough calls yet. So copywriting, you know, getting people also educated is a huge part of marketing. Marketing is actually to educate people and not only educate them about what's on the inside, but attract the right people and offend the wrong people. Great marketing offends the wrong people, attracts the right people and offends the wrong people. Elizabeth says, create a new signature program I'm way excited about, struggling with what information to give and where to line it up effectively. Awesome. We're going to get into that too about creating your um, sales attraction system. So just a, a tip, <clears throat> you should have somewhere, you should have somewhere uh, either a PDF on a website or if you don't have a website, no problem, but you should have a frequently asked questions page. So what are the most common questions people ask you? That's the kind of information that you need to be giving because a confused mind doesn't make a decision. A confused mind doesn't make a decision. One of the things that we do and that we teach our clients to do, because remember, education, people don't, they, they see you for the first time, they don't know who you are. They, you say you have this program, but they don't really know. So one of the, I'm going to give you guys a little tip here, a little trick, is to go to, let's say you do some kind of a process, okay? Um, Elizabeth said she created a new program. So in this new program, there must be some kind of process that you take people through, right? What you should do is create, get on, go into fiverr.com, get a 3D image created of that process, and then post that out there. And, and ask people, for example, we have an offer Bible, all right? Our offer Bible is 100 pages of the top best performing, outperforming social media posts, emails, video challenges that have made our clients millions of dollars in the last 10 years. I sell that to people. I sell that, okay, in our program. But what I do to market it is I post the three, I say COACHES, all caps. And I say, who here would like access to 100 pages of our top performing outperforming social media posts. It's in my coveted offer Bible that has made my clients millions of dollars in the last 10 years. Comment, I'm in below. So people start commenting, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I want it, I want it. And I say, great. 
You know, they're, 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 they're making social proof. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I want that. Great. Here's how to get it. Apply for my program. It's on the inside. We give it to you on the inside. Now, what I've really done is I've educated people that, hey, this is what you get on the inside. So a big, great part of marketing is educating people. You can do that for $5. Go to Fiverr. Get them to create a 3D image. Don't spend 20 years learning graphic design. And then post it with a cool comment like that. Get some social engagement and then invite those people to have a sales call with you. Love all these questions. Elizabeth is like genius taking notes. Nina says, I'm starting now with no experience online, but coaching at the moment with groups in person. Can you help? Yeah, of course. Um, what you want to be doing if you're coaching people in person is you want to make them an offer. So we, we teach this in our workshop, Profit Secret System. It's how I made my first six figures hosting small, intimate workshops to people in my freaking yoga teacher's basement. So two and a half hour workshop, $20 in advance, $40 at the door, teach them for two hours. And then the last half hour is get on, uh, buy this $100, $97 breakthrough call with me. And so you're taking people that are from the workshop into a low end, any, everybody's got a hundred bucks. You can wipe your ass with a hundred bucks. No one's got to ask their husband for a hundred bucks. So you invite them into a paid strategy session. It's a coaching session. It's called a breakthrough call. We give you the script and everything like this in the workshop profit secret system. But the idea is that you're going to get them to raise their hand and buy a low end offer and, and buy a hundred dollar, a breakthrough session, a recorded call with you. And then the half hour, first half hour of that call is actually going to give, you're going to give them coaching. The last back end of that call is going to be a sales call. And that's how you get them as a client because people who come and see you in person at a workshop or in person in general, um, they're already sold on you, but you may not, you may not be giving them the opportunity to work with you further. So that's how we do it. All right. Do I meet a potential client in person, even though my business is online? I would not. I would not start training people to meet you live. I would train them to meet you on Skype or on Zoom. Because if you have to leave your house and go and drive somebody and then they don't show up, uh, that's a total waste of your time. Um, Scarlett says, clarification on your programs, question mark. Yes. So you want to make sure that um, clarification on your programs, well, what is it called? How long is it? What are you actually selling? When you're talking about coaching programs, you want to start getting into the habit. I think a lot of people make this mistake is they start trying to sell coaching and nobody buys coaching. <clears throat> What's up? Kimberly's in the house. Nobody buys coaching. People buy the destination. So what happens when people actually finish working with you? What happens when people actually finish working with you? That's the destination. That's what you want to start selling people. So that should give you a bit of clarification on your program. Let me know. What are you guys struggling with? Comment here below whether you're catching us live or the replay.